All right, so now I'm going to go over importing photos into the project. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a new bin for my photos. So right click inside the project window and make a new bin. Click on new bin. I'm going to call it major photos and drag and drop that into the photos folder. I'm going to click on my bin and hit Command S to save my bin. And so now I right click inside the bin. Well, before I do that, before you import any photos, uh, you, you need to set your settings for import. And you do that by clicking on Avid Media Composer in the, on the top left and go to Preferences. And then that'll take you to the settings window. And when you first open it, it'll probably start out here at format. But you go over to user. And if you scroll down, you'll see import right here. Or you can hit I on the keyboard. And it'll take you right to it. So double click on import. And here's all your import settings. So I've got some photos that are not 1920 by 1080 they were shot on my iPhone so I'm gonna choose resize image to fit format raster and alpha channel you click ignore for photos and I want do not modify treat as legal range and these are the settings when you're importing a photo that this is really for any photos and even if I were to import a photo that is already 1920 by 1080, it would import just fine. Uh, but these are the settings you want when you're importing photos. So again, click on resize, resize image to fit format raster. You can leave this alone, a field ordering, ordered for current format. Uh, do not modify and ignore on your ALF channel and then click OK and then I can close the settings window then right click inside the bin and go to input source browser and I'm going to navigate to where my photos are so here are all my photos and you can click on one As right now it's set to link the source browser is set to link right here I want to change that to import and then it'll give you resolution settings and I want that to be DNX HD HQ and then you can choose where your media goes this is always important when you're importing photos or anything for that matter and on my system it's defaulted to Mac HD because I'm not hooked up to a Nexus right now, so that'll work. And you can also choose right here, close source browser after link or import. I'm gonna leave that off. And then you can also choose clear source monitor upon closing source browser. Uh, I'm gonna leave that turned off. And I'm gonna click on import. and cl close the source browser and open this double click on this JPEG you want to double click on the icon right here and you can see well since it's a photo that I took on my phone it was imported correctly uh, even though it is it is sideways so if I were to cut this into a sequence I'd have to reposition it uh, but this is what you're going to see. This is what you want for any photo that is any size besides 1920, 1080. It's going to be resized to fit your project specs. So that's correct. And then here's another way to do it. You can open a finder window. 
And I'm going to navigate to where my photos are. So they're on my desktop. And I'm going to select some more photos. And I'm going to drag and drop these into the bin. Now, before I do that, before you import anything in Avid, you want to hit Command 5. That opens the, the media creation window. And you want to go over here to import. And you can see I already have DNX HD HQ selected. And it's going to my Mac HD drive. That's the location. And it'll tell you the video wrapper format and audio wrapper format. These are images, so there's no audio. Um, but this is the most important thing when you're importing anything. This, this tells you, this window right here tells you where it's going and the resolution. And go over here to render. And this is all your render settings. So I have render set to DNX HD LB, which is a lower resolution. That's fine, and the renders are going to Mac HD. Now, if you're working on a show or a movie, then you would click on this drop down box and then select your Nexus volume that you want to render to. Or you go over to import and select the drop down box and choose what Nexus drive you want to import to. Um, but I have all my settings the way I want them to be, so I'm going to hit OK. And go back to my Finder window. And now I'm going to drag and drop these photos into the bin. And then Avid imports them. So there's two ways to import media into Avid. You can drag and drop it into a bin, or you can use the source browser by clicking on ins inside the bin, go to import and then source browser. And you can see all these photos were resized. And I'm going to go back to my photos. Here's the still image I exported before. Now this is already this is already 1920 by 1080 because I exported this out of my project. So my settings being the way they are, I'm going to import this still image and I'm going to show you what happens. So I'm going to drag the still image and drop it in my bin. Now Avid's imported it and my settings are set to resize image to fit format raster and this still image is already 1920 by 1080 so it didn't make any changes. It didn't need to resize anything. So that worked perfectly. And that's how you import photos or images.